Hey guys, uh, Spencer with Dothan Estate Sales. Um, I am in Donaldsonville, Georgia. I am on site for our next estate sale that starts this weekend. Um, so it's been an interesting past week. You know, we were supposed to have two sales. One kind of got thrown in there. Actually, both of these kind of got thrown in there last minute and we're scraping by to get them ready. But one the guys felt he was being he was being rushed to kind of get done, not by us, but you know, he just wanted to slow things down. So we're actually glad that he decided to change uh, from having us come out this weekend in Ozark. So we'll just be in Dawsonville. And that's a good thing because we have a house packed full of stuff. We've, I'd say we've got 90% of it unpacked. You'll see from the videos, we've still got some boxes and I'll show you the outbuildings that we've been cleaning out where all the boxes are. There's lots of cool stuff here. Uh, lots of really good stuff. Um, if you have any questions, be sure to comment and, uh, make sure that, uh, you're subscribing to our channel, um, and hit the little, the little, the little bell so you get notified every time that we post a new video so you don't miss anything. But, uh, lots of stuff here. Lots of cool toys. We've got quilts. We've got dishes. We've got crystal. We've got furniture, outdoor stuff, camping stuff. You name it. And it's all, you know, uh, I'd say from the 60s and 70s. Um, Well-known family here in Donaldsonville. And I will quit talking. Be sure to uh, visit DothanEstateSales.com. We've got tons of pictures up. And we hope that you'll come out to Donaldsonville to see us uh, this Friday and Saturday. Hey, and it does start 10 a.m. Georgia time. I'm sorry, we just hate getting up and just strolling out, you know, the crack of dawn to get here. And so uh, I put it in there at 9 o'clock, and the computer made it 10 o'clock. So we're just going to leave it that way. 10 o'clock Georgia time, 9 o'clock Alabama time. There's no reason you shouldn't be here. Hope to see you this weekend. All right, I'll turn the camera around and shut up. All right, this is coming in the front door. Uh, we'll go to the right first. Let me see here. All right. Um, and we just kind of move every move everything around because there's a lot. We had to put out lots of tables. And so some of the rooms, we just kind of like combine some of the furniture. Uh, and then we put out tables everywhere. So you'll, you'll kind of get an idea. Um, like I said, comment here. Send us a message. You know, you send me a text to the business line. Just let me know who you are because I don't have everyone's number stored. Hey, check out this piece. It's one of my favorite pieces right here. I like this little cornucopia. Yes. Bonus if you can figure out who it's made by. I know. Let's see if you do. Okay. Comment in the comments if you think you know who it is. I might have something to give away. We still got to give away those coins. But anyway. Let's keep going around. As you can see, you'll see a lot of price tags. I've already got a lot of it priced. Even though it might not be organized, I've just been pricing this. We're pulling out of boxes up here. Cool little, there's an unmarked McCoy apple blossom cookie jar. Uh, let's see, a couple more pieces. Here's a good piece of art glass. Don't know if I have any art glass collectors. Um, but this is, uh, Joe, what is it? Clearman, I believe from 1986. Pretty cool little piece. He made a lot of valuable lamps. You know, the art glass, it, it sells for good prices, but you know, it's not entirely expensive. And I love this quilt. Uh, you know, it has its little flaws. Look, you got your little Mason thing right here and you got some birds on the other side, you know, cool quilt. Look at that. All right, let's go around. We have uh, we have Dickinson Dickens Dickinson Dickens uh, Christmas clay figures. Another set of them in the box down there. Stuff up on the mantel. All right, let's keep going. Try to. All right, so the whole set in here, um, except for the tea cart, is uh, the Drexel Travis Court mahogany line, and um, yeah, great shape. There are a few blemishes. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of go around. Be sure to comment if you see anything you like. Uh, and I just started unpacking another box with more of these in there. So we have some more of those crystal glasses in all shapes and sizes. 
We've got our uh, Royal Dalton set, uh, the Miramont. There is a uh, list of everything that's there. Um, these are all sterling spoons. We went through all of the um, souvenir spoons. Those were all the sterling or unique ones that I plucked out to price individually. All right, and then we've got the Haviland set over here. I really like that pattern. As you can see, both of these sets, the Royal Dalton and the Haviland, are pretty large. Uh, let's see, there's our tea cart, and our mirror. Let's keep going around. We've got our Linux. Um, I want to say this is uh, 13 Christmas plates. I can't remember how many it is. Um, and then we got this clear set of Imperial glass. But yeah, as you can see, they're all in there. And they all still, I mean, they've never been used. They were just collected. So the flatware, I like these uh, little ceramic pieces. Let's keep going. And you know, there's the stuff we always have. Let's keep going around. Oh, there's a nice piece of carnival glass over there. I think that's a Smith piece. All right. Oh, let's go in here. Let's go in the China cabinet. I love, 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 love this Waterford candy dish. Very nice, very nice. Another Waterford piece missing a top. Another Waterford piece. We have a Waterford sugar and creamer back there. What is that? I think we got one of the moon and stars right there. Some nice little crystal pieces. Let's see, we have some little glass sets up there. There's lots of new stuff. Well, I say new, it's just never been opened. It's older. Yeah, don't mind the mess. I'm telling you, we have been, we'll be ready by the time you get here. You know how we like to roll, you know? We like to squeeze it in as fast as we can. Oh, check out. Now, I like the Jeanette thumbprint. The pink milk glass. I love this set. You like that, don't you? Amber sets over here. It's a good set right here. Sheraton by Johnson Brothers. Yes. And you, you think there's there's more down here. Let's keep going. Oh, ta -da. Here, I'll just pan the room. See? Lots of stuff. Lots of stuff. Christmas stuff. You name it. There's just all sorts of odds in it. Ooh, check out that little spigot with the duck. Yes! Hey. This thing right here, I almost threw it against the wall. But anyway. Yep, we got Christmas Villages, all sorts of stuff. File cabinets, need file cabinets. I think we have four here total, maybe some more out in the uh, outbuilding. See, still got something to dispose of. Let's see, and I'll ask about this big long counter. I believe we can sell this. It's not attached in any sort of way, but I'm just gonna have to check. So if you're looking at this thinking you might need this big long uh, set counter with the cabinets, we'll see. Uh, got another roll top desk. This one's a little nicer, all wood. I know the one last week was pretty quick, but it was a cheaper, you know, it is what it is, still nice. All right, let's see, we got some waffle irons, thermoses, coffee percolators, we got a bread maker down there. I like the little wooden box. It just has a little hinge lid, nothing special. All right, so we've seen out here. Oh. And I'm going to put this together. We've never put one together, but I've got the light and I've got all the pieces because I think this is a larger one than we usually have. Usually we have four and six foot. I think this is the eight footer. Uh, I'm gonna put the aluminum tree together tomorrow and we will see, but you will have to take it down. <laughs> all right, let's keep going. More over here. This nice little set over here. And this Franciscan set, you know, they're eh, over here. They're not too complete, but there's pieces. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Oh, and we have a lot more toys that we haven't put in here. So this is the room right now with the toys in it. There's a lot more in the other room that we just pulled out of the second load of the storage unit. And uh, as you can see, I've got a lot of this stuff boxed up. Uh, you know, like Geronimo here with all the parts for him I could find. Uh, a couple of the guys weren't in good shape. You know, they're like this, but I know some of you eBayers, 
you know, the hands, the heads, the arms, the legs, every little piece is sellable on eBay, anywhere from nine to $12 each per, per limb. You know, we've got old GI Joe parts and pieces. We've got Marks, we've got a Marks Knight, all the pieces, and I think we have the Marks Knight. And let's see what else we got. Uh, Johnny West, some more GI Joes. This cool guy, hey, check him out. Check him out on eBay. Yeah. And I like this piece, and this is actually marked with a um, bank in Dothan, Strato Bank. It's an old piece, but it's came from a bank in Dothan. Oh, wait, wait, where's the other? So, how you like that? That metal camper. And this is a good piece. Are you eBayers out here? We got our marks. World War II German pistol pistols in there and web belt with holster and there's just a mixture of miscellaneous toys yeah i mean there's some throwing knives don't know how we got a light bright skipper doll case other barbie doll case these old games that are still in the box they've never been opened um Old suitcases, cameras, radios, typewriters, stereos, reel to reel. This cool old microscope, very heavy. And look, it's got my name on it. You can think about me every time you use it. Look, Spencer. <laughs> All right. <laughs> keep going around. All right, let's keep going. Let's see where we're going next. Okay. This is the main room. So this is where we've been collecting everything. When we pull it out of the storage units out behind the house that you'll see in a minute, and we kind of break it all down here and then distribute it out through the house. And so this was the low that we just bought in. And we started distributing it like the metal dollhouse, this old uh, Mark's dollhouse, I believe 60s, 70s. Uh, and check out this 200A Coleman Lantern with the box. Box is a little crispy but it will do and let's get over here we've got the doll furniture i think i showed you yesterday oh look we've got another room over here we'll go there after here all right let's get, like i told you there's stuff everywhere ah oh, check out this you like this huh and we got our uh what is this our um orphan annie decoder button 1940 pretty cool look that up on ebay it will be priced accordingly and that is a solid wood rotating rack yeah and see these are we've been noticing that dishes were packed in different boxes so these all right here we're hoping that there's still hope for them we're hoping yeah whatever and uh we're hoping we'll have a more complete lineup of sets of dishes i really like this piece because i just don't really see any with this kind of plum purple top i don't know if you can tell but i know it kind of looks cranberry but it has more of a purple tone to it nothing special but you know it's cool it's cool more toys check out the ethan allen footstools down there that stack pretty cool see more boxes of toys more boxes of toys, more suitcases. And I want to say there's lots of stuff in the suitcases. Don't ask me why. Uh, another quilt. Let's see what we got in here. I don't know. Baskets, books. There's our Tom Clark collection. So by the time you get here, I will have all the certificates with each little gnome. You know me. I'll have it ready. And we got music boxes. Um, and we got this... Um, Diet Coke here, it needs to be thrown out. I know you like that. Mantle clock, books, a couple more Tom Clark spread around. Let's see. All right, a couple pieces of furniture, encyclopedias, there's some Navy hats, lots of women's shoes still in the boxes. Hey, there's lots of vintage clothes here. here. Here's one of my favorite pieces kind of sticking out, and that's why it kind of caught my eye. Check out that George Seminole FFA. I mean, that's got to have some age to it. That's pretty cool. Check out that. That's from the 70s. It's dated. 
I'm not gonna show you the name on it. You can figure it out when you get here. Let's see. Looks like we've got another quilt, kind of like the one we had in there. Check that out. You definitely want to come see us. And the mushroom chairs. Hey, check it out. These are cool. Mushroom chairs, see? We got here a solid pyrethane wood frame. Yep. I know somebody is going to want the mushroom chairs. All right. Hey, we have that same little Ethan Allen Knight stand in our shop that's missing a drawer. Hey, there you go. You'll notice the Ethan Allen pieces sitting around. There's one right there. I think the bedroom we passed. There's, there's a lot of furniture in the house, actually. I know, I know you're not seeing that, but there is. We just kind of had to move it all and make it fit. Nice little marble top table with a lamp. I love this little rocking chair. All right. It's more of the Ethan Allen pieces. So here's where we kind of broke down the rooms and just kind of spread them all in here. All right. Costume jewelry. I just went through it today, separate it out. It's just kind of mixture and over here is sterling. A couple pocket knives. Let's see what we got in here. See, more in there. All right, keep going. That's a good looking set, a little dusty. All right, hats, vintage men's clothing, ties, you name it. Same thing in this way. Let's see, all right, women's shoes etc all right let's go outside you kind of get an idea this video isn't going to be short there's a lot of stuff here lots of stuff it's well worth the drive i'm telling you you will not be disappointed here wait till you see the cool stuff outside let's let's hope all the wonderful people out here right, check out the wagons yeah hey in this old snapper i've almost got it going but I think it's been so long since it started, it just needs a really good cleaning. Uh, compression's still really good. It actually pulls, I mean, I probably pull it like 20 or 30 times, hitting it with starter fluid, and it would just ying, 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 but would never turn over. So, yeah, see there's the starter fluid. And if you're local to the area, got a lot of these metal Seminole marching band, old uh, front license plates. All right, let's keep going around. We got this aluminum picnic stove. I think it runs off LP. See, and it's got the rack underneath it. Stand for it. Got one of those old uh, Aladdin looking tents under there. Pretty cool, might have to set that up. Oh, in this, uh, so while this is in this roached out box, this old Coleman cooler is practically brand new. Um, great shape. All right, let's see if I'm missing anything over here. Okay. Just kind of go around. See, so as you'll see is where we started pulling out all the stuff. These rooms, these are the first three rooms. Uh, all the empty boxes we had, we put them back in there. Don't ask us why. This trunk is full of lime cola bottles. I'll show you the rest of them here shortly. Uh, we've got these burlap sacks, this old table over here. Bunch of little kids buggies. Another oak basket. Check out this, I can't tell if it's doll, or maybe it's salesman sample furniture. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it was out there in the barn. The stuff that's really dusty was out in the barns we're about to see. All right, let's see. Make sure stuff in here, some Boy Scout uniforms, trunks, hats, more vintage clothing, a lane trunk, you know, Eight tracks. I saw Alice Cooper in the first row, so it's probably a good mix if it's got Alice Cooper in the first row. That's all I had to see was Alice Cooper. And I said, okay, somebody probably has some good eight tracks. Not that I'm a Alice Cooper fan, but you, you gotta be out there to like Alice Cooper. <laughs> uh, sorry, all you middle-aged people out there. All right. No, Tony, no, it's fine. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. All right, more stuff in here. What is that, a glass globe? There's a like a swag lamp, pots, pans, medical supplies. There's lots of cool old books out here. 
uh, whether it's children's books, I mean, whatever. There's lots of cool old books, so you want to dig through there. There's lots of vintage little folding chairs. You'll see those. See? There's some down there. There's some back there. We got an easel. We got lamps. Let's see here. A couple jars. We got a stack of license plates. Uh, I know that we have a librarian that looks for clam dishes. This is a glass, but it is a clam dish of sorts. So here's all these lime cola bottles. So I can't tell you why they're here. I don't know for what reason, but they've never been used. Um, and that's what that trunk is full of. So they're all the long lime cola bottles. Don't know where to date that, but the ones with Dura glass on the bottom, which I, I think most of those are in the trunk. Those date to the 40s. And then you have a lot of the cork tops that had never been used. Um, we just have boxes and boxes of them, see? There's more cases and cases of, uh, of bottles. Coal bucket, gas cans, oil cans, bed pans, nightstand bales. That looks like an old tornado fan. I don't know about that grill, but hey, whatever, flex your boat. All right, let's keep going. All right, we got this uh, nice metal patio set right here. I think we've got two rockers and three stationary chairs. And then we have this older set right here. I'm telling you, if you want this one, you're gonna have to pay for it because uh, it's a nice set. It's very rare we come across these. Be sure to comment that you want that one. We'll see who gets it. All right, so like I said, we have been pulling stuff out from everywhere. So this is kind of gives you an idea of where it is. And we've gone through all of them and we still have that one down there left. And I might just walk down there and show it to you. It is kind of uh, in disarray, but. All right guys, sorry about that. I had to switch phones. Wasn't paying attention to battery life. Phone died. All right, so like I was saying, you know, catch on there. What we have, yeah, see, that's kind of dirty. All right. Let's keep going. Stuff you'd find out in a tool shed. It's not as clear as the other one, is it? Sorry about that. So sorry. I think there's some more toys back in here too. I love these. Hold on, let me get down here. Let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of them. Pretty cool. Nice and heavy, good, good quality. Let's see, we got a horse, a dune buggy. There's the Boy Scout thermos or uh, canteen I've been looking for because I found the, the Boy Scout uniform. I could not find the canteen. I know I've seen one. Uh, old slot cars. Yeah. Tell that's the older stuff, a lot wider than I had when I was a kid. Let's see what else we got out here. What is that? The Thinking Man, Human Skull Model. That's kind of cool. So lots of games out here. Odds and end pieces of wood. We got an old vanity stool down there. Um, I'm not sure what this is. Old white ceiling tiles. This old light. All right, and we've got some old hand tools and the one next to us. All right, let's see here. Let me walk over here. Yeah, see, there's some stuff in there. We just kind of made it where you can get through here. You know, it's a little bit of everything. I think that's a dog box that mounts to the back of a truck back there. <laughs> Gun cabinet. All right, kind of get the point. And then let's go over here. Got a tub with the feet. Got a couple old lawnmowers. I haven't been able to get back there to the back, but see right here, whatever that big glass globe is, it looks like one of the old globes, like for street lights. And if it is, that's really cool. We got some old bicycles, lots of them. 
So this will be something we just kind of pull out and uh, we'll just add it to the uh, outbuilding we went to so you don't have to come all the way over here. But other than that, uh, I hope you saw enough to uh, spark your interest and get you to come out here. All right, guys, I made it back to uh, my phone. As you can see, it's quite hot outside. Something about West Georgia, it's just hotter over here. And there's more gnats, a lot more gnats. Okay, but like I said, we start at 10 a.m. And that is Georgia time, 9 a.m. Alabama time on Friday. We've got a house packed full. Bring a friend, bring a trailer, bring a truck. Just come and visit. Doesn't matter to us. Um, hope you come out to see us. Visit DothanEstateSales.com for more pictures. Don't forget to subscribe and to click the uh, notification button so that you are notified every time we release a video. Um, we hope to see you Friday and Saturday. And have a safe trip. See you then.